Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. So, Speaker, as I did on the last occasion, I want to address this Honorable House to express congratulations to the winners that we have present with us today. It was quite an honor on the last occasion to have the former monarchs join us. And of course, today is a very special delight to have the junior Calypso monarch with us. And he tells me he's going to form one um, in the next school year. And we certainly look forward to him continuing to be part of this you know, valuable art form of, of singing Calypso. And I hope, of course, he also extends to other aspects of it, including writing of Calypso and everything else. And I suspect that he would excel at it. And of course, we have with us the maestro himself, um, Alison Mackey. Um, I did say to him that I have to keep a promise to invest in another fan side, um, which happens to have as its leader somebody from Castro South. And I also told him I know the Prime Minister is making determined efforts to get his fan side going. So he will have some increased competition next year. But if you know Alison well enough, he will welcome that. And he'll probably help them to get established to take part in the competition um, so, they can, so he can beat them um, because he's a consummate professional. And, some, and anybody who knows him will tell you that. I had the delight during the arts component of the Jazz and Arts Festival to head a big pan side that he um, led play in the square. And it was the best pan music I'd ever heard in St. Lucia during that, that event. Um, so you, we all know Alison and what he produces. And of course, my dear friend, Giovanni Sentome, um, I must, and I told him this morning when I saw his costume come on stage, I actually got goosebumps. Um, he and I have spent many, many hours and nights um, in mass camp building um, costumes. And I'll tell you something, he still keeps the old tradition of how he builds his costume. He's not changed, he's not moved away from his established um, method of building costumes. And to see him come this year and win was a, a delight. Uh, I, I can tell you, working with him is no easy task. Um, many um, words have been exchanged um, <laughs> over the years whilst building costumes. But he's a, he's a professional, he's a perfectionist, and he's somebody who puts his all. He really, really loves this art form, and I can say to you, I don't know why he keeps doing it, but every year, this man goes for days and nights to make sure he produces costumes, and it's a real joy to see that he came back this year and win. Mr. Speaker, let me take the opportunity on behalf of you know, all my colleagues in here to express our appreciation to the Royal Central Police Force for the exemplary work. You know, you know our, our primary concern was citizen safety and security for this carnival, primary. And I can see from all reports it was incident free. I saw the police out in the numbers. I saw them very professional, very diligent in what they did. Um, and we had a very good season. And we must say a special thank you to all the police officers. It had to be difficult on them to put in the amount of hours that they put in across all the private fets, all the national events, um, having um, Jou Jou um, Jouvet as well as the parade. And seeing the parade yesterday and the amount of people who were out, you can imagine um, what the police went through, Mr. Speaker. So we have to express you know, our thanks to the, the leadership and the officers of the Royal Central Police Force and the other emergency services that um, provided support. Mr. Speaker, you have to say thank you to the um, Carnival Plan and Management Committee and the Carnival Music um, Committee, Management Committee, for the work they did. Tamara Gibson, um, Claude Paul, and all the team, Mr. Speaker, that really oversaw the um, carnival season. We have to say thank you to them. The volunteers, Mr. Speaker, um, the social media workers we had, the cameramen, the videographers, everyone who really made the last um, few days the phenomenal success it was. Of course, you cannot have carnival without Bacchanal. So they had to have enough talk about the Bambam wall and the colors of the wall and everything else, Mr. Speaker. For me, um, I, I have no difficulty in everybody expressing their views. We must let all ideas contend. Anyone can share their views, their opinions. Of course, we always ask they do it in a respectful way. But please send in your suggestions, send in your criticisms of how we can make the product better. 
Already this morning, I was really pleased to see on Facebook, somebody was suggesting that we should paint it over as we prepare for June Creole and to use the madras and images of, of Creole heritage and almost suggesting it doesn't have to remain a carnival wall. Somebody put forward that as an idea. But the more ideas we get from solutions, the more suggestions as to how we can be better, I think it would do us a lot good. Um, not every suggestion has to be a Roro and a personal, uh, making it personal and, you know, uh, and really becoming negative. Let us look to make St. Lucia Carnival the premier carnival in the Caribbean. We may not be the biggest, but we have some very iconic you know, elements of our carnival, including the waterfront. I mean, the, the, the sites of the waterfront with the, the, the yachts alongside the waterfront and the, the colors along the waterfront is a phenomenal sight to behold, Mr. Speaker. We have so much that the, so much that we, we so much that we, 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 we can you know we can really sell as St. Lucia. So let me as Minister express my thanks to everyone who made Carnival a, a success, Mr. Speaker. And you know my colleagues are reminding me about CCC, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank them too for the contribution that they, they make, Mr. Speaker. But I Mr. Speaker, we will have a lot more to, to talk about when, when we meet and we do our review as to how different agencies can work better and to make sure that we really have the best setting for St. Lucia Carnival.